Jesus Christ encouraged his disciples to invest their resources towards heaven in order to reap eternal benefits from God. Christ narrated a story to buttress his point and said, the ground of a certain rich man yielded plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, what shall I do, since I have no room to store my crops? So he said, I will do this, I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there I will store all my crops and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have many goods laid up for many years, take your reason, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, fool. This night your soul will be required of you, then whose will those things be which you have provided. So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God, Luke 12 16-21. Lesson, a person who is only earthly conscious and invested nothing towards heaven will reap vanity, emptiness, on God's last day of judgment. Worldly riches are temporal. They are meant to exist briefly and later disappear. A person who is rich today may die poor tomorrow. Even if he dies with riches and leaves wealth for his or her descendants, they might not be so prudent to maintain them. However, whatever a person sows towards heaven will not vanish, but it will last forever. Anything preserved in heaven is meant to be automatically preserved eternally. Meanwhile, anything to be termed heavenly investment must point people's attention to God and bring in glory. If we are to analyze some efforts that are heavenly worthy, a Christian who cares and prays for other people will receive a checkmark to receive a heavenly reward. Also, a Christian who leads other people to Christ will receive a checkmark. Therefore, all children of God are called to represent Christ well on earth and also contribute their best efforts towards populating God's kingdom so that they can receive God's incorruptible and immeasurable heavenly benefits. Prayer, Dear God, please help me be heavenly conscious and invest my resources towards heaven where there shall be no corruption. Do not let me be trapped into worldly affairs and pursue them as if they are my only goals to be achieved. Empower me to invest my finance, material, charity activities towards your kingdom. Let me represent you well on earth to be qualified for your incorruptible heavenly benefits. Let your Holy Spirit guide me in all things so that I can prosper. For in the name of Jesus Christ, I make my requests. Amen. Download Bible Combo mobile app to read this daily devotion in your local language. God bless you.